Hey guys, so this is just a little tutorial on how to use the TI-30X2S to do some basic fundamental sort of calculations that we do in, in chemistry. So the first thing is exponents. Um, let's say we want to use 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd in a calculation. Well, you just press 6.022 and then see that EE right there? It's purple, so we press the second then EE, and then the power, 23. And that's how it writes 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. A uh, negative exponent, just as easy. Let's say 1.609 times 10 to the minus 19th. Well, we just put 1.609 second EE, this negative right here, and then the power, 19. And that's 1.609 times 10 to the minus 19th. Now, let's say we want to raise something to a power, like 3 to the 4th power. Well, what you do is you per, push, press the number that you want to raise to the power first, 3, and then see that carat right there? Press that, and then the power, 4, enter, and 3 to the 4th is 81. If we want to take a root, well, square root um, is easy, it's just this one above the x squared, so second square root. So let's say we take the want the square root of eight, press um, second square root, and then press eight, and I think we'll close the parentheses, enter, and there it is. Um, if we want to take a root that's not a square root, let's say I don't know, a fourth root, let's say we want the fourth root of nine, press the root first, so the four, then see that x root right there, second, x root, and then the number we want to take the root of, 9, enter, and there it is. So <clears throat> that's the roots, that's the powers. Memory, um, nice thing about this calculator is that it can um, store numbers in memory. So let's say we want, we're want we doing a calculation and we want to use that number somewhere later in our, um, our calculations. To store it, so just press STO for store, and then we can put it in A, B, C, D, or E. Let's say we can put it, put it in B, so we hour over to B, hit enter, and now it's in B. So when we get to the point where we want to use it again, we go recall, which is above the store, so second recall, and then arrow over to B, where it's underscored, and press enter, and there it is. <clears throat> so, um, Another thing that this can do, it can go back and forth between decimal and scientific notation. So let's say we have this number right here. We want to write it in scientific. See the psi slash eng, second psi. And we want to underline sci for scientific. Press enter. There it is in scientific notation. So now it's in scientific notation. To go back, just go second psi slash eng arrow over to where FLO for floating point is underlined, press enter, and it's in decimal notation. So there you go.